Hey guys, Jacob Moon with Jacob Moon Talks here today with a brand new video for you guys on this. This is my custom monster truck in Brick Rods Garage hashtag SEMA contest. So this is my entry. You got my minifig there with the hopeful hoping trophy I might get. I'm just kidding. There's not an actual prize, I don't think. But you do get a shout out on his channel, on his uh, account. So that's pretty cool. Anyways. So here it is in as a car. Does not transform. I don't know why I keep thinking it does. But so here it is. Right. Got the remote control stand here. Just simply. Doesn't even hold in place by anything. Just a simple basic design for the remote. Use the gear on the side instead of just the two little buttons here. There you go. There's a look at the stand for the remote. Nothing too interesting there. Then we have my minifig over here next to the monster truck and trophy. Get him up off there and stand him up right in front of the wheel. You can really see how big this truck is just by that shot right there. Alright, and then you have my sign up here. It says the Jacob Moon's Mops. Sorry if you hear any cars driving by. I'm doing this outside. Or motorcycles. Okay. Or motorcycles. That could happen too. In case you want to know who the girly voice is, that's my sister. You may have saw her in the sword video. You may have. If you've seen that video, you would have. Alright, anyways. Uh, so here it is. And it's uh, on its stand. It's got this uh, little thing here just to basically show off how much travel the suspension has which i believe is right at about uh five studs no wait three bricks three bricks so that's about nine yeah yeah nine plates tall so there you go i think it can actually go just a little bit higher maybe by another plate or two but anyways let's get on to the part you've all been looking forward to the drive uh camera girl Please be careful with the camera. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna take it off the stand real quick, show you the power button and how it works and stuff like that. Start with the iron. So here's the suspension. You can see it works pretty good. Front and rear. So this is front, there's the rear, and then side to side. It's got uh, the power switch here, right here. That's the power switch. And it's kind of encased around the uh, orange switch. What you do is whenever you want to turn it on, you just push it this way, and you will immediately see how this becomes flush, and then you have a switch right here that will turn on and off the lights. So, rear lights and headlights, and then you can turn them off using the switch. Then you have the IR receiver on the back here, which is connected to... The servo motor in the front, which you can see right here, that's the servo motor. And they have two large motors for drive. So this is a four-wheel drive car. I'm going to go ahead and tell you all this. This is not completely made out of Lego. There what? is batteries. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yes, there are batteries. Double A, six to be exact. In fact, you just in order to take the batteries off, you just pop off the roof. Then you can pop the wire off right here and pull out the battery box. And there you go. That's how you can replace the batteries. Sadly, I'm missing the other one of these. Don't know how that got lost, but it did. So, there you go. Alright, put that back in there. You can see all the wiring stuff going through there. And, and the cool thing is, take the battery case back out. You can see a couple little white stripes to try, trying to kind of continue it, but they're not. They were kind of a bit of an accident. I just ran out of those parts in black. So yeah. But it ended up looking good. All right. Next step. Well, it is uh, Technic as the base of it, and then I kind of went off the Technic and into the basic brick for the rest of it. Man, traffic's heavy. All right. 
So it's got a little checkered flag here, just to simulate how quickly it drives. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. That's South Carolina traffic. <laughs> hey, not supposed to be giving away locations. Alright, anyways. There you go. And, yeah. It looks pretty good on the stand. But now to the point where you've all been waiting for. The drive. Here we go. Alright, so as you know, this is infrared, which is a little bit of a pain whenever you're driving outside. But as you can see, it drives pretty good. Definitely one of the better things I've made that drove. Uh, it is definitely better than the hovercraft, and I want to go ahead and announce the end of the hovercraft. Sadly, I had to take the motors out of the hovercraft in order to build this guy. This little car slash monster truck. It was worth it. I have it. nicknamed the referee. Dun dun dun. About time I mentioned that. <laughs> So, well, and it looks so good from this view goes. because of the stripes. Like, they blend into each other. All right. And it looks like it's just flat. So now I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see it drive with the lights. That would be... We should do that. All right. And there you go. That is the monster truck. Nicknamed the referee. And now, like I said, it does have two large motors to drive. Uh, at one for the front wheels and one for the rear. And then it has servo motor for front wheel steering. Now, I, I, it, I, ori I did originally have one large motor, but I wanted to add more power, of course. More tools. And then I had four wheel steering, like a monster truck <laughs> should have. Which was... Interesting, let's just say. It was pretty cool. But it drained the battery life a lot because all I did was really was just to copy the front wheel design, which I'll go ahead and show you from the bottom now. You got a couple of no steps on the two white ones. No step. <laughs> Do not step on them. Kind of need to add those to the top, don't you think? <laughs> all right, anyways. Uh, it had a differential in the rear. No differential for the front. I didn't think it needed it just because I didn't have another one. <laughs> I have a few questions. All right, shoot. That I think your viewers would like to know. How long did it take you to build it? All right, this took. I've been working on this basically since my birthday, which was back in June, and this is November. So, <laughs> kind of give you an idea. All right. Any other questions? How much money did it cost? Yes. All right. Well, I've kind of saved up my collection. Bring it up. So I've kind of saved up my collection for a while. I'm working on this thing. Uh, so, I've had plenty of Lego sets before this, which gave me the black parts I needed. Then, the servo motor cost like $23, but I had that from the, the uh, hovercraft. And the large motor, which I stole from the hovercraft. And then the other one, which I stole from kind of a secret mock I had made. Did you steal it from anything else? Like, any other pieces? Uh, I'm sure, yes, I stole from that secret mock I was talking about. I probably won't post it now because I got this. I'll go ahead and tell you what it was. It was the, uh, four, two, nah, I can't remember the name. It's the Lego was, Drag Racer. Yeah, it was the Lego Drag Racer. The blue, or the medium blue, azure color. Yeah. And the black one with the flames. So I had that remote controlled with a large motor and a servo motor, but and I, it even did wheelies. And yeah, it, did, it was it had an M motor. Basically, it was the exact same design as uh, P Pong Daddy had done. But yeah, I just thought I'd rather do something custom. So this is the custom one. I'll go ahead and show you one more time with it driving, just because I think it is a blast. Is this your first fully custom RC car? Uh, no, actually. Technically, if you depends on what your definition of completely custom is, because I do have the uh, Lego uh, base plate that came out for Lego RC cars, and you can look on my mock pages. If you ask, I will show you, give you the link. But basically, it was the uh, body that would have the steering and drive unit. All right, so I'll tell you what. I'm going to test the range real quick because the sun's not directly on us. So, ready, Liz? Yes. All right, here you go. 
As you see, I have it on channel one just for fun. Go. All right, kind of went off to the turn. All right. So yeah, you can see it's got a decent range. Um, I'd say about. And maybe, that's it. That's it. I'd say maybe twenty feet. Mm, Fifteen more of. But all right, so we'll run back over here, catch up to it. And so it it has a pretty good ground clearance, but the front wheels have that steering piece, that little T. <laughs> shape piece right there which is really what's kind of like lower down so that's what's hitting on the stuff i'd like to order some bigger tires i'm looking at a pair some uh four of course of them and there it's about 30 bucks so a little expensive all right let's do a quick what uh, is your favorite thing about this my favorite thing is probably the color and the shape of it i was going for the dodge charger-esque look didn't really turn out that way but it does look really really cool what was it originally going to be <laughs> <laughs> all right so funny story the original design the original design was a uh trial truck slap no not a trial truck it was a trophy yeah trophy truck the you know the uh, really fast uh trucks that would bounce around on the dirt and that was the original idea for it and that's what i wanted to build but the thing was I wanted to build it small enough to fit into a little cubby hole in my mom's car her brand new car she got well let's just say it came out like this and doesn't fit in that little cubby hole <laughs> the goal was to have this like where I could hide it in there and so I could take it anywhere I wanted to go and she wouldn't know <laughs> and so whenever we went on vacation or something I could pull it out and drive it around if we if I ever got bored but it's kind of got raised a lot so it doesn't fit anymore it's very close though i mean if it wasn't so tall it would fit and if it wasn't so wide yeah well long long wide's this and it's perfectly fine wide all right so yeah i do want to order some new tires and i think that's about it uh i'm just watching the time all right i think we I'll go a little bit further in depth, I guess. I do have a license plate. It's the 40th Technic Anniversary. Got that on BrickLink. Really good deal on that piece. How many BrickLink orders did you have to make? Or how many things did you buy off BrickLink to make finalize this? Okay, well, I'm still working on it, of course, like I've said. So I do want to make that BrickLink order for the wheels. But I did make a Bricklink order for these wheels, so I'm gonna. If I do buy some new wheels, I will be kind of have four extra. But I think I made a total of three max. I know I made one for this, the 40th anniversary, and I made one of the one for these suspension pieces. But I had made them a long time ago. I had made that, and I was planning on doing this. Uh, no, uh, I have the red truck build, the, uh, but that's what my sister's trying to mouth out to me, but yeah. no, I did not steal these from the red truck. I actually ordered these on BrickLink. All four of them? Yeah, all four of them. The light gray ones, the Lego set came with re yellow ones, which were a little tighter and I didn't want that tight. The camera's on this side, Liz. I noticed. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Yes. Amateurs. <laughs> I'm better with a real camera. All right. Anyway, hey, it's my tablet. Exactly. Right, so there we go. Let's go one more. Let's see what the cat reacts to. Cat react to. Hey, Lego RC car. <laughs> yep, that's about how it normally goes. He's <laughs> got a couple of exhaust pipes, of course. Uh, looks really cool, in my, in my opinion. We can't do it with a dog because a dog would probably eat it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I think that's about it for this mock. Uh, I did make a custom. It's a little longer than So it is all custom design. And I'll go ahead and bring it back to the stand. And thanks to all of y'all who stayed to the end of the video. Yeah, I know this one's a little bit longer than my normal video, but... It deserves it. Yeah. So there you go, final shot with all of it together. Headlights on. 
minifig in place. For scale. Get a 360 of that real quick. And that will be the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want more awesome LEGO creations. Coming up next on my channel will be another Autobot Transformer. Power Glide. Check out his page on Mock Pages. Yes, I will post some Mock Pages on this. I've probably already posted it by the time you see this. Alright, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.